you get me. What's good everybody, it's your boy Larry, and welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're gonna to be talking about stems. What are stems, how to break them down, export them, import them, and how to label them in FL Studio. Shout out to my sponsor for this video, DistroKid. Check out this quick video. So real quick, I wanted to tell you about the team section in DistroKid. In today's climate, everyone is collaborating. This is awesome. So DistroKid has a tool that allows you to easily pay your collaborators without having to hire an accountant. With Teams by DistroKid, you can add unlimited collaborators to any track. You can change the splits at any time. You can even add or remove Remove collaborators at any time. You can go back in time and see the previous splits. For privacy, collaborators can only see what percentage they get. Your collaborators will need to make a DistroKid account, but they'll get 50% off, so it's only 10 bucks. Your release won't be delayed if your collaborator is slow to sign up. Instead, they'll just hold the money for them until they join. If the artist never joins, you can easily cancel their invite and reallocate their money elsewhere, or you can grab it yourself. As always, DistroKid never takes a cut. You and your collaborators get 100% of the earnings in total. Now let's get back to the video so i have a full session here i wanted to pick a song that i have with beat stems and vocals so that way we get everything in and we talk about everything in this video first let me get into a few reasons why you might want to break them down into stems you might want to have somebody else mix them you might want to collaborate with another artist you might want to have somebody master your song that's basically why you would want to have these stems broken down let's just give it a quick listen I got that big gas like cup full, big sip. Got two, cause I got two big bills. Laid out, I ain't around no more. It's shorty and savage, I hit in a whip. I got two, cause I got two. You might want to double check and make sure everything in this channel rack is being sent to the mixer. Quick way to just double check it. it takes two seconds. Click this tab and hit all. And then just go down and look at all these. Uh, channels in here and make sure they all have a number associated to them. Uh, so as far as organization goes, make sure everything is labeled with its own instrument name. You could see right here, I have these labeled main melody, omnisphere, chord stabs. This omnisphere one is a little vague, so you might want to change that. I know that that's a bell, so I'll just name it bells. So if somebody else is collaborating with me or mixing my song, they know just by reading the label, those are the bells. And as far as these drums go, some of them have, you know, longer names, like where they came from, like what pack they, they were in. But for the most part, they have what they are inside of them. If you want to kind of like simplify it a little bit more and break that down, you could do so just by... You know, deleting everything else in there and just keeping the word 808. I don't know why I had these vocals all the way out here, but that's not usually where I put them. I usually have my vocals first. I'm going to move them. So if you want to hold control, click and drag, and then you can hold the alt key and you can hit the arrow key over to move that over to the first slot in the mixer. And you can see these things are being run into a vocal bus. And when you go to export these stems out, it exports them in individual files and as a vocal bus. So you can keep both, but just make sure that you name them accordingly so that way the engineer doesn't double and stack your vocals where they don't need to be stacked. All right. So if you don't know what stems are by now, it's basically a wave file of each individual mixer track that comes out of your session. All right. Now we are ready to export. Go to the playlist. Make sure you don't have anything highlighted or looped that it's on song mode. And if you have some space at the end where you want it to kind of tail out at the end. We're gonna to go to file, export, wave. We're gonna to go to the desktop, put a brand new folder on the desktop. This song is called Drip Down. Double click on that folder, drip down. Save. Uh, wave an mp3 just so the producer or artist has an mp3 master it's not going to export the mp3 stems only the wave stems so i like to select wave and mp3 that way they have a reference if they need it just include it just in case uh 32 bit float you can do 32 or 24 top two cut remainder song selection make sure that it's on song selection uh 512 point sync for the mp3 bit rate i have that all the way up stereo i also have it on split mixer tracks so you need to put split mixer tracks in this setting in order to export the stems that's going to take everything in the mixer and export it out as an individual file and after you're done with that you could just click start and it's going to export into that folder that we just created on the desktop so on our desktop this folder pops up and these are all the stems that are in this folder right here fl studio for whatever reason has always exported of a, a file named current I usually delete that because it's a duplicate 
and then I leave everything else. So drip down right here, this is the MP3 reference, so you could just call that a reference. And then this one right here, the master, is also a wave reference. So you could just call it wave reference. So that way they have a wave and an MP3 reference just in case they need it. And all the rest of these are the stems. And if you need to double check what a stem is, because you might run into this issue, what you could do is just pull this one stem into FL Studio and drop it in and see what it is. In this case, it's a completely empty wave stem that we don't need. And it snuck through the cracks there, so we could just delete it. We know for a fact we don't need it. And we're good to go. Everything is named, labeled, organized, good to go. So we can X out of that folder, come down here. Now, this is another important piece to this puzzle, is compressing and zipping this folder. Depending if you're on a Mac or a Windows computer, I'm on Windows, I have WinRAR. So if I go and right-click that folder, I hit Send To, and I hit Compress Folder. It's going to compress it, and pretty much anybody can open this file. If you're on a Mac, I think you need a different kind of software to open it up, but it's it, it lets you know and it tells you like what software you need to open. Now we have our zipped folder and our unzipped folder. Now when you go to send this to somebody in an email or a Google Drive link, you're going to be using this zipped folder. Then after that, you can send it to a collaborator or another producer, another engineer, another artist, and they will be able to download that folder, unzip it, and load the stems into any DAW that they use. Now, to import stems, very easy. Way easier than exporting stems, I'll tell you that. So let's go to that desktop, and let's say, you know, let's get rid of this unzipped folder. So let's say somebody sent me this folder. I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna hit extract to drip down stems. It's gonna unzip it, and it's gonna put it in a folder and get to those stems. Double click on that. Highlight all of these. I'm gonna take everything except the two reference tracks for now. Click and drag them straight into FL Studio. Start at track number one and let go of the mouse. It's gonna drop every stem in. It's like a helicopter outside. Get to the chopper. <laughs> all right, so now that these stems are loaded into the playlist, I always double check. I highlight all of them again, holding control, clicking and dragging, and make sure that they're snapped all the way to the beginning so that way we don't have any unwanted dead space at the beginning. And then again, if you wanna send all these to the mixer, just double click and make sure everything is highlighted green on all. Go over to the mixer, click the next empty space, shift control L, everything is dropped into the mixer. And you're good to go and start collaborating, mixing, whatever you'd like to do. That's gonna wrap it up for this one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the link down in the description to get 7% off DistroKid right now. And make sure you share this with a friend if you get me.